Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another VHS collection corner. Today I've got four uh, VHS tapes that I'm throwing into my collection. And I thought I'd show them off. Um, I'm going to start with the oldest stuff, which this stuff arrived like last week. And I wanted to wait until a few more tapes showed up before I really did anything with them. Uh, the first one, which is which I'm really happy to have uh, to have gotten my hands on. It's... Um, it's a, it's a uh, Chinese tape, because the sticker right here says China Video, Video Studio, and it says Thai Sang Video Marketing Inc., and uh, I think that's, think that's, I think that's Chinese. I don't know, please don't hate me if it's not, I don't know uh, any language, I don't know really any foreign language, but um, if you can read the side here, it says Dr. Lamb, and it's a Category 3 film. Uh, for those of you who don't know um, and don't follow me on Tumblr, I did a 31-day uh, movie marathon where I went through watch one movie a day for all 31 days of October. And one of the movies I watched, I watched, a f I watched like two uh, Category Three movies, and this is one of them that I watched. It's uh, Doctor Lamb. It's a Category Three film that's about a uh, like it's it's hard to explain. It's a Category 3 film that's based on a true story about a, uh, a serial killer from Hong Kong um, who killed a bunch of girls, and that's really it. Uh, it stars Anthony Wong, who starred in uh, Ebola Syndrome, as well as um, The Untold Story, which are both very, very solid uh, um, like Category 3 exploitation films. They're probably my two, some of my favorites. This one's very, very close to those. Uh, and it's very, very violent and nasty in its style, and it also has a bit of comedy thrown in. But, uh, very, very interesting film, and, uh, on VHS, I know the DVD goes for, like, 30 bucks, and I got this VHS copy of it for, like, 5 And honestly, I mean, while I would rather own it on DVD or Blu-ray, the thing is, you know, the DVD is probably a bad transfer, probably from a VHS anyway. Uh, next we have one that I know almost nothing about, other than the fact that this film has Christopher Lee in... Peter Crushing in it, two horror legends. Uh, it's from 70, 1972. It's called Horror Express. This is a very, very old release. Like, look at this. It is worn. The colors are a little bit faded. I love, love, love it. Um, apparently, it's like a kind of... From what I've heard, I haven't watched this one yet. It's... Uh, it's a film that takes place aboard, like, a train, uh, which is why it's called Horror Express. Uh, it takes place aboard a train where they're transporting this, like, hairy kind of prehistoric Iceman, so basically Bigfoot or The Missing Link, uh, from, like, across the country. And it unthaws and comes alive and starts killing people on the train. And it's, uh, you know, I can't really say anything about it because I haven't seen it yet, but it, it, it looks interesting, to say the least. Next, we got onto the package, the, the other, the the other package I got today besides my horror pack, which I already did the video on. Um, it's uh, it's two things I bought um, off Amazon, or not off Amazon, but uh, off eBay from the UK. These are UK videotapes, uh, so they're PAL video videotapes. So I actually don't know if I'll be able to watch these. I don't think so. I don't know if my uh, VCR can play PAL tapes. I don't know if it's like multi-region or anything like that. I don't even know if multi-region VCRs existed um, ever, but uh, it's Cannibal Holocaust 2, the Vipco VHS release. Um, I really know nothing about Vi Vipco um, other than they were like the edgy distributor of horror films in the UK, they they really did. They they distributed, they distributed a lot of films that most, you know, distribution companies would try to stay away from. Um, and it's you know it's 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 a it's a PAL tape and it's it's in this nice case like and this isn't a cut box either like this is the actual case it comes in which is very very nice. I dig this kind of clamshell. Uh, next one, this is one I've actually seen before. Is another one that uh, that is kind of a. That was advertised in some places as being a unofficial sequel to uh, Cannibal Holocaust. But this one is uh, Amazonia, also known as White Slave. 
Uh, I've seen this one before, and it claims to be based on a true story, which I doubt that, but it's a uh, exploit. It's a it's a it's a cannibal film that I didn't like first time I watched it, and I'm sure if I would were to rewatch it, I'm sure it wouldn't be as bad as I remembered because I remember the first time I was just basically mad at it because it tried to be like cannibal holocaust and then i remembered oh yeah the cannibal genre was around before cannibal holocaust so i can't really fault this film for anything um but uh i remember it like being about a girl whose mother whose parents die in the amazon rainforest and then she gets taken in by the cannibal tribe and like basically becomes one of them and then gets revenge on the people that had her parents killed it's uh it's not it, it at least as far as i remember it's not as fun or violent as it sounds um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's really it for the VHS Collection Corner today, guys. That's really it, so, uh, I'd like to wish you guys a good day, night, whatever you guys know the fucking deal.